Well, hello again, everyone. Professor Prophet coming to you from Gamblers University. And we've got a roulette strategy today submitted by one of our subscribers, David Elliott, over at Scouse House Roulette. Now, this one is called Moving the Chains. And the reason he calls it that is because it uh, imitates uh, a football game where the fields are marching down, the, the teams are marching down the field, moving those first down chains till they score. So uh, we'll show you exactly how that works here in a moment. It's a $1,000 buy-in, $100 win goal. And I've uh, played this a few times with a lot of success. So I'm pretty excited about sharing this with you. And thank you, David, for sending that in. Now, if you have a strategy you'd like to see on the channel, please uh, email it to us at uh, gamblersuniversity at yahoo.com. And we'll take a look at it. If we like it, we'll uh, feature it on the channel. So if you like this video, we do ask you to give us a thumbs up so we know you're enjoying the content. And if you haven't already subscribed to the Gamblers University channel, uh, please consider going ahead and doing that at this time. We do value your comments. So if you have a, a tweak you think might improve this strategy, please let us know and we'll share that with the class. As always, we do suggest you try this strategy or any of them we have here on the channel uh, on your software or on your table at home before we take them to the casino so you can get comfortable betting them and be confident that they can win you some money. So let's head on down to the felt now and we'll show you the nuts and bolts of the Moving the Change Roulette Strategy by David Elliott over at Scouse House Roulette. So we'll see you there shortly. All right, down here on the virtual roulette table and we're getting ready to spin David Elliott's, also known as Scouse House Roulette. We're gonna spin his Moving the Change strategy. Now he calls it Moving the Change because we start off with a five $1 a street bets and we just line them up and then if we hit then we'll take down the one on one end and move it to the other end just like a football team moves down the field as they move the chains and hit those first downs that's what uh, david's trying to accomplish here now we are using the uh, fibonacci stra uh, sequence as we move up and down the play field here so as you know, anytime you use a Fibonacci, especially when you don't have more than half the number uh, numbers covered, it's going to be pretty volatile. So we'll be ready for that. And so let's go ahead and get started with our first spin here. And it's a $5 bet, $1,000 buy-in, $100 win goal. So let's get spinning and see if we can get off to a good start with the moving the chains strategy. So just missed on 18 red, so that's a loss. So we'll rebet and go up one level to two. And we'll spin it again. And you'll notice the uh, Fibonacci sequence at the bottom of the screen there. So we can kind of go down the scale as we uh, continue to lose. And then when we reach our session high, of course, we'll go back to the base level. So that's another loss. So we just go from two to three now, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. And basically, we're just adding the last two bets together. The last two were $1 and $2. So this would be $3. If you miss this one, it'll be $2 plus $3. So our next bet would be 5, then 8, 13, etc., etc. So we're down 15 after two spins. And there's 29 black. So it's going to be another loss. So now we'll go from uh, $3 to $5. So we just add $2 to each one of these. And give it another spin here. Got off to a rocky start here. We've got 15 number coverage, so that's not horrible. And there's 11 black, so there's our first hit. And that's a $35 win, and that puts us at $5, which, of course, is a session high. So we move down uh, one column So as we, as we move the chains and uh, give it another spin. We're back to our base level, $1 bet on each one of these streets. And there's 22 black, so that's going to be a loss. So we go from one to two. So it's at a dollar to each one of these streets, and we're spending ten dollar bet now. Thirty red is going to be a loss, so we'll go from two to three now. So we'll rebet, add one more, and give it a spin. Down 10 on the session, but we still have plenty of bankroll here. So there's one red, so that's going to be a loss. 
So we'll rebet and go from uh, three to five now on each one of these bets. That'll be a $25 total bet now. And we're spinning. And there's two black. That's going to be another loss. So now we'll go from uh, five to eight on each one of our bets. Get these placed. And give it a spin. $40 bet this time. Down 50, as we mentioned before. This is a volatile strategy. So even though we're down... Uh, it'll come back pretty quick once we start hitting some numbers, which unfortunately we didn't there. So now we go from 8 to 13. So we'll add $5 to each one of these bets. And let's give it a whirl down 90. See if we can get a hit here. 24 black. And that's another miss. So we just missed it. So now we go from 13 to 21. We'll add uh, eight more dollars to each one of these. And it has been a cold wheel thus far. I think we've only got one hit. And there's 14 reds, so we do finally hit one there. That's a $147 win. And it puts us uh, at minus $8. Um, so that's not a session high, but uh, we're not going to stay at this level. Uh, let's go back down to $8 on each one of them, and we'll move the chains, and we'll start at the uh, 7th Street. And we'll put $8 on each one of these streets, and see if we can get another hit. There we go, $40 bet, still down eight on the session, not much. One good hit and we'll be back in business. So 26 blacks, not that hit we're looking for. So uh, we'll go up to uh, 13 now, from eight to 13 on each one of these bets. And let's give it another spin, down 48. And there's 21 red, so that is a hit for us. That's a $91 win, that's nice. So we're at $43 now, so uh, that's a new session high, so we'll move the chains, start at 10th Street, and put a dollar on each one of these, $5 total bet, and we're spinning. So there's four black, that's going to be a loss. So we'll rebet and go up uh, one level to $2 now, and spin, that's a $10 total bet. And there's six black, so that's going to be another loss. So now we go from uh, two to three. And we're spinning. Sitting at 28, session high course is 43. So there's 25 red almost, but we just missed. So we'll rebet and go from. $3 to $5 on each one of these streets. And that's a $25 total bet. 36 red will be a loss. So now we'll go from 5 to 8 on each one of these. As we move on up the Fibonacci scale. And still looking to hit something, only hitting 6%. When you got 15 numbers covered, you should be a little higher than that. But we're not, and there's another miss. So we'll rebet and go to 13 now on each one of these. I think the highest we've been is the 21 level. So hopefully we can hit something here and uh, get back on track. Session high is 43. We're down 52 now. And there's 34 red. That's another loss. So now we'll have to go to 21 on each one of these. So that means we'll add $8. And this will be as high as we've been during the session. And we were fortunate enough to hit one last time. Let's see if we are this time.
19 red. That should do the trick for us. And that's a $147 win. And that puts us at 30. And again, we're not at our session high. So we can't go back to our base level, but it seems silly to bet this high when you're uh, only $13 from your session high. So let's go back down to $5 on each one of them. And we'll go to the uh, 13th Street now. And put five on five streets, and we'll give it a spin as we move those chains across the play field. So there's 22 red, so that's going to be another nice hit for us. That's a $35 win, and now that does put us at $65. So we'll go back to our base level now, and we'll move to the 16th street, pick up the next four streets after that, and give it a spin. And there's 16 red. So that's another win for us. So now we'll uh, move to the 19th street. Pick up the next four streets and give it a spin. 72 now, new session high. 23 red. So uh, finally the wheel's warming up a little bit for us. That's another uh, $7 win for us. So let's move to the 22 street. And that'll get us all the way to the end of the play field. So I guess we could call that a touchdown. 31 black is going to be a win for us. So now we'll uh, let's head back the other way. And we'll start at the 31 and go back to the left. All the way to the 19. Uh, $86 as we're getting close to our $100 win goal. There's 18 red. That's going to be a loss. Just barely, but it is a loss. So we'll rebet, add one to each one of these uh, streets. And there's 17 black. Another one that's close, but a loss. So now we'll add another dollar, go from two to three. And again, we're just adding the previous two bets together, the $1 bet and the $2 bet. And that's why we're betting three here. So that's 18, 17, and 16. So uh, we've just missed each time. So now we go to $5 on each one of these. Of course, session high is 86. We're down to 56 now. And as we mentioned, this is a pretty volatile strategy. So there's a $35 win, and that puts us at 91. So that's a new session high. So now we'll go to the 28th Street. As we work our way down the field, as we move those chains, $5 bet, and we're spinning. 21 red, that'll be a win for us. So we'll go to the 25 street. As we move the chains once again, go all the way to the 13 street. Sitting at 98, so we just, if we can get a hit here, we will be at our goal. 23 red, I believe that's two in a row, isn't it? Nope. 21 last time, but it's a $7 win, and that gets us to our $100 win goal. So that is how the moving the chain strategy by David over at Scouse House Roulette is played. We started with a $1,000 buy-in, ended up at $1,105. That's a $105 win using the moving the chains roulette strategy. So, David, we do appreciate you submitting that. And if uh, any of anyone else has a strategy they would like to uh, send us, you can email us at gamblersuniversity at yahoo.com. And we'll be glad to take a look at it. If we like it, we will feature it on the channel like we did David's today. So uh, we do thank you for joining us. and hope you enjoyed it. If you did, we ask that you give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the Gamblers University channel, we'd love to have you do that at this time. As always, we value your comments, so uh, please leave one below if you have a tweak you think might help this strategy, and we'll be happy to share it with the class. Once again, we do thank you for joining us. Hope you come back and see us again real soon. Until that time, if you're out there uh, spinning that wheel, we wish you nothing but the best of luck, and we hope all your numbers come up winners. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.